All right, Monday, March 17th, 933, here in West Memphis. We got uh, vehicle number D as in David, 26. Looks like he just printed something out is honestly what it looks like. So uh, I don't know, unfortunately maybe there's some uh, revenue generation, some road pirate activity happening. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? How are you? Good. Can I ask your name and badge number? Be well, yo. Oh, is that? Well, can I get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, you can. Was there a victim today? Why these gentlemen were stopped? Or a victim? Yes, sir. To the state, thank you. Can I talk to the state of Arkansas? I mean, could they testify that they were harmed or their property was damaged? I don't know. Yeah, that's. I guess that's kind of the point I'm trying to make. I don't know, like, if there's no damage to personal property. See this here? Yes, sir. Uh, it looks like it says uh, regulations. Yeah. Uh huh. So I mean, whatever they put in that book, though. I mean, Today, that all black vehicles could be taken. It wouldn't what make if, it. What if the sky was blue? I can't answer what if. Well, I just do my job with my building. What they pay me to do? Well, you could answer what if, if, if you're tasked with something, you could choose not to enforce it if you don't agree with it. If my purpose for taking a job was to serve and protect, and then I was, uh, you know, stopping folks from engaging in victimless acts, I would wonder if there was a conflict there. Oh, I don't? Okay. Well, it's a pretty simple concept. If there's no victim, there's no crime. And that's what I'm trying to communicate and trying to get your input on. But if you go back to the Star Wars, well, you know, it's not right. Yeah, but I don't know. Again, I don't know if I can talk to the state of Arkansas. If they can tell me, yes, I was damaged in this way, then I can understand. But... You see all these problems in the Yeah. That's the state of Arkansas. Okay. Well, I guess we have a different... Uh, Understanding then on yeah. what what uh, constitutes a, a, a party that can be injured. And individuals have rights. Those people don't have any more rights. If you have certain, you have the same rights as I do, as those gentlemen had. And if we get together, there's no extra rights created from that. Where are you from? I'm from New Hampshire. What's your name? My name's Pete. My name's Gabriel. Gabriel, good to see you. Yeah, exactly. So if I want to go and talk to anybody, I, I have the right. To no, exactly, and that's the thing that I try to emphasize is like individuals act; they're responsible for their actions, no matter where they work. But the thing is, uh, you know, there's a uh, claims of, of immunity, sovereign immunity, acting under color of law, and things like that, which say, well, if you're if you're working in these capacities and you and you harm somebody's rights, then you might not be liable unless we say it's okay to sue them. So there is a different standard, and that's. That's why, uh, you know, I get out here and I film and, and whatnot. You know what the Second Amendment is? Sure, but, I mean, again, I don't look to pieces of paper for my rights. I think someone born in North Korea has the same right of self-defense as someone does here. It's a God-given right. But, uh, but we have those so that the government can't. You know, that's our, that's our law. We can't, the government can't take that from us. Well, it's, it hasn't worked too well. Because ultimately, I think ideas is what's going to make the difference. So, I mean, I'm not trying to be adversarial, I'm just trying to uh, share ideas and try, try to get point out, like, if you, you know, you seem like a, a, a nice dude, Gabriel, and so, if you, I mean, if you took the job with good intentions, and then you think about, well, like, I just, you know, I, these, I don't know if those, you know, guys were hardworking or what their story is, but, I mean, now that maybe they have to, they said they have to pay some money, and I don't see a victim, There's, I don't see someone who's, like, got damaged, I don't see property, they, I mean, I don't know the situation, but to be honest, but... You know, to yeah. me, it's a big thing. If there's no victim, there's no crime. And for a group of people, 
that, that claim a monopoly on providing justice and security to shake someone down for, for not doing anything wrong, that sets the stage for more egregious rights violations. So I just, you know, I'm just, just trying to have a conversation about it. And I'm not trying to say it's you personally, it's, it's the, like the institution and it's, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's, and that's ultimately well, I mean, where it comes down to. I get it every day and I'll pay people. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. And I that's, do my own thing, and I, uh, yeah. I, I try to go by policy, by the letter of the law. I think most people are generally good. They don't, they're not out there to, to harm somebody else knowingly. And, uh, yeah. so well, it's just, unfortunately, I can't. And that's the thing. I mean, it, it, without these these centralized uh, vehicles, like uh, you know, Hitler would have just been some crazy racist dude on the corner. Without like, if, if people didn't, uh, if, if he didn't get elected, and then he had his hands in the pockets of millions of people, and millions of people saying, "Yes, I have to obey you because you have this certain title." If we all govern ourselves, and uh, you know, we don't grant this authority arbitrarily, but we grant it to people who earn it people that we can trust and have proven themselves there's a big difference and that's that's my thing like today uh you know like the person who says he, he rules over everybody in this political boundary called the u.s he, he uh, signed some legislation that says i have a right to, to kidnap and cage somebody indefinitely i have a right to kill somebody you know without cause i have a right to do all these things and he doesn't have that right any more than you and i do it's just that people believe does so they grant this legitimacy so what the, the solution is is to, to withdraw the consent from that violent apparatus and from these double standards and whatnot i mean 70 years ago someone in the same position put out a piece of paper that we're going to round up all the japanese americans and they put 110,000 people in concentration camps in the states and i mean what's to stop that from happening again you know if the authority is still granted to that corrupt institution it could so that's that's why i'm trying to get out there that's why i'm a firm believer in second all right. You know, you got to protect yourself, man. Right. It comes down to it, you got to protect yourself. Yeah, right on. Yeah, man. But yeah, I don't mean to take up all your day, but I appreciate you talking and being pretty, you know, candid and whatnot. It's a friendly conversation. That's really what I'm, you know, seek to do. And I, I, I'm here for the people, man. Yeah. I just do what, I just do, yeah. do what they train me to do, and, uh, you know, I got a family. Yeah. Yeah. You got a family or you? Just... No, I don't have any kids or anything right now. I, have, I mean, I have other family, but yeah. yeah. I mean, if I had, honestly, if I had kids, I'd, I couldn't do this kind of lifestyle, you know, where I travel yeah, a lot. Stuck. But yeah, I've been able to meet a lot of good people going around, and I guess that's one reason I'm pretty optimistic and pretty trusted and, and whatnot. I just, yeah. you know. Oh, man, just, just be careful. Don't, don't, don't let that be your advice. Sure. I don't think you're naive. Yeah. I'm just saying that there's some people. No. Nah, I hear you. That, yeah. You're kind of hard. That's just that's a rare thing. Well, have a good day. I'll be let careful, you go. Please. Yeah, you as well. Yeah, be well. Take care. Don't get it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> if you do go to the site and you, and you check out just one video, I, there's a guy named Dale Brown from Detroit that has a pretty good little operation that it's kind of doing what you know what you. Uh, uh, set out as your aims to protect people and whatnot, but it does it through like a consensual interaction. He's got a business model. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, honestly, where I'm from now is like my mindset is like I don't mean it's to sound harsh to you personally, but I don't want to take a job that subsists on money that's taken from other people. Yeah, well, I will appreciate. I think you'd like it. Yeah. Hard, you know, yeah. Well, I mean, I. I'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, be safe. Yeah.